Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Afro Gardener. Today we're going to talk about the dreaded tomato hornworm. Let's get into it. So like I said, we're going to be talking about the um, tomato hornworm. Now, the tomato hornworm is the caterpillar stage of the hawk moth or the hummingbird moth. It's huge. I thought I saw one out here the other day because I saw something really big and I did see it because I saw the evidence on my tomatoes. Now, um, the tomato hornworm uses many other plants as a host plant, tomatoes, peppers, and potatoes. They use them as a host plant, um, but they can absolutely decimate your plants in a matter of a day, okay? Um, if you are able to get them small or to um, get to them when they're little, that is the best time you wanna get to them because when they get big, it's a wrap. It is an absolute wrap because they can destroy a plant in a day. Um, I've been coming out here during the afternoon um, to find them. That's when um, they're out the most, when they're out, they're active and they're eating is in the after late morning, afternoon time. And so that's whenever I come out and um, try to find them and pick them off by plants. Now, if you have a black light, you do have the option of coming outside at nighttime and being able to see them because they're very hard to see during the day because they're so camouflaged by the leaves. They look just like your tomatoes, like their, their camouflage game is on 100. <laughs> and so if you have a black light, they, you can see them really well with the black light. They glow under the black light. So they're easier to see, they're easier to pick off. So if you do have a black light or you wanna to try to do it that way, um, you could definitely do it. Let me know how that works for you. I don't do that. I just come out here and I just check on my plants every day. And um, I'm also going to show you another way to, um, well, excuse me, another indicator of the hornworm, okay? If you are looking at your plants and you see this type of black substance, that is, let's see if y'all can see, that is the fecal matter, okay? So where you see fecal matter, like I would look above, um, above that area where you see the fecal matter from the hornworm, you probably guaranteed to see it. So even if you don't see the hornworm itself, if you are able to um, pinpoint where the poop is, you can, you can pretty much locate where they are. I pulled one off this plant, but I left the poop on there so I could show you what it looked like. And we're just gonna look around and see if we can see any. I already did some checks earlier this afternoon, so um, I might not, we might not find any, but let's just see, because I did see some. If you continue to pull them off and you continue to um, pick them off, the population will decrease. It will decline. So whenever you see them, pick them mugs off. Pick them off, pull them off, squish them. I didn't squish all of them, because it does make me feel some type of way. But when I see them, I definitely just get rid of them. Or I'll move them to a tomato plant um, to use as like a host plant. See, I don't see any. I picked off some big ones yesterday. I should have recorded it. My bad, y'all. I don't see any. And they're very, very hard to spot. They're very difficult to pinpoint exactly where they are. Why is it like this? This is what they look like. This is what you're gonna be looking for whenever you're looking for them in your own garden. They're um, dark green and they get very large because um, you know they just eat. They just eat, eat, eat. So they get very large very quickly. Um, I found three on my tomatoes this morning um, and if you see this um, this um, sticking out this part this section right here of it that looks very sharp it is not um, 
It is not gonna hurt you. It's to ward off predators that would eat it. So don't be um, afraid of this um, sticking out of, the, if, of its tail, okay? When you see that sticking out, it's not gonna hurt you. It's not poisonous. It's not gonna bother you. Um, it's just to keep away predators. But this is what you're gonna be looking for when you're in your garden. They blend in very well with your tomato plants. They blend in so well, it's hard to tell. It's hard to see them, okay? But they are there, you see? That's the mouth. Ow. Those are the legs. If I can get my camera to focus. It's moving. Yeah. Sorry, they're pushing on my arms, so. But I wanted to show you guys what, the, what it looks like. They can literally decimate some plants very quickly because they just eat, 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 eat. I'm gonna put him with some um, tomatoes that I've put over in the burn pile. I'm not gonna kill this one. Um, I'm not gonna squish it. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them over there. I've been trying to figure out um, how I can um, not kill them because the, the moths that um, they grow into are very pretty and I don't want to destroy them, um, but they're just not what I need in the garden. So I'm gonna take this guy and put him um, with the other tomatoes I have in the burn pile so he can eat those. That's all for today's video. Um, thank y'all for y'all's patience. You know how I gotta upload videos and I just thank you guys for hanging in here with me while I try to upload my videos. Um, as always, remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And also hit me up on Instagram. I'm really active on there. So I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye.